Put some coffee on. Brush it off.
I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe! Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck! Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh... Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some... Business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Calm down. He likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the crowd. You're fine. You're okay. You got some energy? Show me there. Everything you got, come on. Let's get a ladder. Yeah, boy. 
All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton.
Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Okay, let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? 
I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? 
Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Good. Okay. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, shit. I'll get him. Get a rope on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. You are right. No, you don't! I don't think so. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Shit. I'll just walk it off, okay? Just don't walk into any more bulls, all right? Come on! Let's talk!
better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. Relax, my friend. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. He like dead bodies on his property? No, no, come on, mister. Tell your friend, Mr. Geddes, he's gonna sell this place. The only thing he needs to decide is what he loses before he sells. Oh, I'm real frightened of you. Whoa! <laughs> you wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, <laughs> get him Come on, get him. Oh, kick his head in, boss. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Brains uh, out. I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boys. Oh, he's licking you, boss. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. 